Well, welcome back, my sweet friends. Okay, it's time to get your spooky on. Ooh, it's Halloween season. A local paranormal investigator and author is ready to take you and your family and whoever wants to go on a ghost hunt in Bay City. How cool is that? I am so thrilled to have Nicole Beauchamp joining me. Thanks for being here. How are you? Thank you. I'm doing great. How about oh, yourself? Excellent. I've been waiting to do this. Okay, so it's Halloween season. It's really the perfect time to go on a paranormal investigation. So where are you gonna take people? Where's it gonna take place? Yeah, so it's gonna be at the historic Masonic Temple in Bay City. Mm, are there some legends or something, some ghosts or some kind of paranormal activity going on there? There's a lot of paranormal oh. activity. There has been all sorts of figures that have been seen in the building mm -hmm. from preschool age all the way up until, you know, elderly adults. And uh, there's quite a dark history associated with the building. So. We're gonna kind of uncover some of that on the tour, but what I can tell you is there is a resident spirit there and his name is Charlie. And he's actually Charlie. primarily associated with the Scottish Rite, which is connected to the Masonic, yeah. but he is the spirit that is most often seen at the historic Masonic Temple. Oh my gosh, so you might meet Charlie when you're there. I love yeah. that. So what will participants experience besides meeting Charlie, which is gonna to be totally awesome? Uh, there's been everything from disembodied sounds and voices oh. to being touched to, um, I, I mean, hearing strange yeah. music to opening doors and seeing a scene from the 1930s. Oh my gosh. Now you are a resident of Bay City. Yes. That's your, your home your hometown. Yes. Okay, so tell me a little bit about, is it exciting to you to, to go back there and to really explore these different places in your hometown? It most certainly is. Yeah. And I think that the thing that I get the most excited about yeah. is giving back to the community oh. because the proceeds from this ghost hunt are going back into the building for restoration purposes. And uh, that's always been something that's been, been very important to me. Yeah. So um, I, I don't want anybody to lose sight of no. uh, what the, uh, I guess, reason for this ghost right. hunt is, which is helping to restore this beautiful building. I love it to have fun and it's a great cause. So tell us what it is, where it is, and how people can get uh, tickets or yeah. register. So the uh, historic Masonic Temple is uh, at 1700 North Madison Avenue in Bay City. Um, it's gonna, there's, it's gonna be happening actually on two days. So it's October 11th and 12th, so this Friday and Saturday. And it's gonna be on two time slots, which is gonna be um, 6 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. And then it's gonna happen again from 11 p.m. until 3.30 a.m. Oh my gosh, do our friends need to bring anything when they embark on this journey with you, adventure? That's a great question. <laughs> uh, so I always encourage people to bring comfortable shoes. Okay. Um, and then we are encouraging people to bring their own equipment, just things that they can carry on their person, mm. uh, like digital audio recorders, uh, their cell phone would be a good tool because you can take photos on that and use the recorder on the cell phone. Right. Um, if you have any trigger objects, like any Masonic related items that you wanna bring, that would be cool as well. Uh, spirit boxes, REM pods are all welcome. Ooh. So, uh, you know, if you don't have any of that stuff, that's yeah. fine. Just bring your cell phone. There's some great apps out there uh, and we can get you all hooked up. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll have more Thank information you. about this on our website, WNEM.com. You too, this is awesome. To bring this back to Bay City, I think this is so cool. If you have any ideas on what you'd like to see on our show, you can send them to us at WNEM-4PM News at WNEM.com. Just use the subject, 4PM News Spotlight.